we broke up. <laughs> I love the title. Tell me, um, how did this uh, concept come about? What was the idea behind it? Uh, so I had initially had this image of a couple sitting in a car post breakup and with the words, we broke up. I knew that was the title. I knew that was going to be one of the first few shots of the movie. And after that, I did not know much. <laughs> and I started trying to write it. And I, I was like, what would I want to see in a romantic comedy or movie in general about this? And I really wanted it to be, um, even handed between the two characters. I was like, I haven't seen that much within this space. And so at that point, um, my good friend from high school, Laura Jackman, who we used to direct each other's plays, uh, was in town for some TV writer staffing meetings. And we were out to dinner anyway. And I was like, hey, do you want to write a movie together? And she said, yes. And I said, I haven't told you what the movie's about. And she said, I don't care. And so we basically uh, at that point started working out uh, the story and what we would want to see in a movie. Um, at that point, you know, our characters have been in a relationship for 10 years and mm. they're at a crossroads where they're deciding if they should be getting married, if they should be starting a family, what they want to do. And so we sort of realized that both Laura and I, I was recently married. Um, I've now since had two kids, two small children, and Laura is now at 15 years of being happily in a relationship with her boyfriend with no legal documents signed. <laughs> and so we basically just started exploring, s taking characters with sort yeah. of similar backstories in terms of their main relationship. Yeah. Yeah, it was an interesting process because when we were first collaborating in the first year of it, we were in two different cities. I was still in Chicago and then Jeff was out already working in Los Angeles. And, and even my first few years of TV writing, I would bounce back and forth between the two cities. So we would work in little fits and starts and I think sort of write scenes from our perspective. I would write from Lori's perspective. Jeff would write from Doug's perspective. And, and those two visions, I think, didn't always mesh. And I think it wasn't until um, we were really getting the draft ready for shooting and incorporating notes from our producers and things we'd wanted to do over the years. We were in the same room together for the first time. And I think we both had such a different sense of both our working processes by that point, as well as how we had evolved as individuals and relationships. Mm -hmm. and, and then how we wanted to write those individuals. And so it was fascinating sort of our initial collaboration, which I think was uh, not firing on all cylinders in terms of we were, we were fumbling towards the story we wanted to tell versus sharing the same headspace in the revision and being like, it's this, it's this, and pitching jokes back and forth at each other. So it's, it's fascinating. There's a relationship to the movie collaboration as well that's taking yeah. place over the years. In writing the scenes, you know, in writing for, for each of the characters, what was the most important thing that you really wanted to get across from his point of view and as well as the female point of view? What was that main point that you felt that was needed in this film? I'd say for me, the thing I always wanted to be present in every scene is that they deeply cared about each other. And I think regardless of whether they end up deciding to stay together or not, I almost wanted, I think we wanted that to kind of not be the ultimate verdict on them as a couple and them as a relation and their relationship. I mean, my, I talk about it a lot, but like my mom's best friend, um, her and her ex-husband are still like best friends and they vacation with their families. And so like, I was always completely, I was always so confused when I was a kid because they would like go on Christmas vacations together and they'd both be there for Thanksgiving. And I was like, but they're divorced. I don't really get this. And the older I've gotten and the more mature I've gotten and the more, I guess, rudimentary understanding of human psyche I've developed, I've come to realize how beautiful of a thing it actually is that they can still care, at each, care about each other and still have relationships, whether those are romantic or not. Yeah, I, I think it's, I think when you're in a relationship for a long time, it's not just the person you're enmeshed with, it's their family too. And so obviously this is, you know, a Lori 
family wedding. And so we see how close he is with her sister, with her mother, um, that this is a relationship that exists too. And we don't get to meet Doug's family, but we hear a little bit. Again, it's that we hear the jokes that he tells about his dad. And, and obviously they have a long history there too on his side of the family. And it, it's not always so simple as, a couple, you know, is talking about breaking up and, and it's this immediate dissolution, it's this immediate um, disconnection from those relationships mm -hmm. you've built over the years that sometimes there is no bad guy, but what do you do if you're at a crossroads and you're not on the same page, but you still love each other? What happens then? And I think that's sort of what we lived in for the space of the movie that you have these two people who are, are agreeing to, you know, not tell the truth. They're agreeing to lie for the duration of, of the weekend, but you can't just immediately separate things out in your head so cleanly. What did each one of you come away with writing this story and doing this film that you could take away for yourself and you can think, oh, you know, I learned this. What would that be for each one of you if there was anything at all? I learned that making movies is hard <laughs> and that I'd like to do it again as soon as possible. Hopefully with my dear friend, Laura. Uh, I echo that. And I think it's, we're both so used to working in TV. Obviously, so are all four of our leads, you know, especially Will and Aya when you're, you know, on a call sheet for one show for four or five, six years. Um, you get used to sort of walking onto the set of a 50, 60, 70, 80 million dollar production and having everything at your disposal. And it was both daunting and also this incredible challenge that we were like, okay, we have 15 days, we're on location 100% of the time, there's no stages, there's no builds, you know? And yes, we're building out dolly tracks and yes, we, we have people who have the skill set to get this done, but it's also very much like a one, two, three, go sort of situation. And there's a pandemic coming. And up. there's a <laughs> pandemic coming around the corner, which we have no <laughs> idea about. And everyone just rose to the occasion. I mean, it it is, it's so collaborative. You're all just up in the mountains together for the three weeks of the movie. And so it does start to feel like a little family and you're racing to the finish line and it's um, exhilarating. And I think we both slept for two straight weeks after we wrapped. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much. I enjoyed the film and I can't wait to see more of your work together. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much, guys. Okay, bye.